Um, as we've heard already from countless presentations tonight, um, the world today is rapidly changing. And technology, of course, is a growing part of our lives as we increasingly find ourselves immersed deeper in new technologies and innovative processes. And of course, the shipping industry and logistics industries, we've heard countless times again, know full well the challenges that te technology presents. The hottest topic probably around, to, you've heard tonight and currently in terms of the technology space is artificial intelligence. And of course, we're trying to explore the, the impact it might have on, our, on our, our industries respectively. However, artificial intelligence is not a new concept. Uh, in fact, its origins can be traced back to Greek mythology. Uh, when there were stories of intelligent robots built by Hephaestus, the Greek god of fire and crafts, and as well as creating Pandora, the first woman, Hephaestus created lifelike me metal mechanisms. His creations were constructed from metal, but their purposes varied widely. One of these was Talos. Now, Talos was a giant animated bronze warrior programmed to guard the island of Crete. And Talos, as well as many of Hephaestus' projects, was able to both think and feel. He acted as if he were alive and often appeared to be, even if it weren't for the fact that he was made out of metal. It was less than a century ago that the technological revolution took off and AI went from being fiction to a very real reality. Alan Turing, a British mathematician, and he was a World War II codebreaker, is credited as being one of the first people to, su to suggest the idea of creating machines that think, and that was actually in 1950. Turing developed the Turing test, which is still used today. And that test measures a machine's ability to think like a human being. Today, the Google AI search engine is one that everyone's familiar with, and it's our favorite gateway to the internet. And machines obviously now can beat us at most things. They can beat humans at chess, poker, and even America's favorite quiz show, Jeopardy. The question for us and myself at uh, Quilt Achieviot is whether AI is stronger than humans in the game of investment. Although it's obvious that man plus machine will win against man without machine, the investment management industry has several questions to answer. Most importantly, are machines alone already strong enough to win without human intervention? If not now, then when? Or could it be never? Does the investment management industry need AI? Is AI better than our other technologies designed to replace human intervention in the decision-making process? Time will tell. At present, the way in which AI investment strategies are constructed tends to be quite narrow and two-dimensional. So to me, AI appears of limited use in our three-dimensional investment world. Gathering and analyzing the huge amounts of information we, we now have access to, followed by efficient execution, should be a winning combination. But unpredicted rule changes initiated by governments or the occasional collective emotional crises that remove liquidity from markets are hard to predict or plan for, because there tends to be no time at all to react or learn. If AI starts to dominate investment management because of good results, people will quite reasonably surrender control to machines. The problem with this, and we've heard it from other presentations, is that people will eventually stop learning how to make decisions. Investment managers make decisions every day. Some are good, some are bad, and the good ones should learn from their mistakes. <clears throat> The US military used to send senior officers to Wall Street to play investment games in order for them to improve their decision-making capabilities. Their day job demands that they had to make were just a few, but those decisions were crucial and they were at times of extreme stress. So hence, it was better for them to make those decisions and have them practiced away from the sound of gunfire. Obviously a very shrewd decision. So how does this translate to shipping? Failure of mechanics, we've heard this, failure of mechanics and technology are among the biggest causes for delayed, delayed shipments and can present a very high cost to shipping companies. AI algorithms could create a much needed solution with their ability to detect when a vehicle is in need of repair long before the issue is identifiable by humans. An AI distribution management system, again we've heard, could significantly improve efficiencies for logistics companies dealing with large fleets of ships or freight where it is currently difficult to keep track of each and every ship or piece of cargo. Countless variables affect shipping delivery, from weather conditions to road closures, but machine learning algorithms can provide much easier management to ensure their deliveries are completed in minimal time. 
In fact, DHL has already developed a machine learning based tool to predict air freight transit delays in order to enable proactive mitigation. By analyzing 58 different parameters of internal data, the machine learning model predicts if the average daily transit time for a given lane is expected to rise or fall for up to a week in advance. A collection of algorithms which are currently in production and testing will improve the process around choosing alternative ports or routes, accurate times of arrival, the likelihood of cancelled bookings, and much more could be predicted, providing both customers and shipping companies a clearer view to the journey. Like in investment management, these developments in AI will allow shipping companies to increase efficiencies and enhance the service provided to clients. In our three-dimensional world, the human element remains integral to the industry in order to make decisions and react to unexpected events and consider external political and environmental factors, environmental factors. There are still many questions to be answered, but what is clear is that the rate of change is accelerating and accelerating fast. So whether we work in investment management, shipping, or any other business, there is a strong need for us to be better informed of advancing technologies so that we can prepare and adapt for how they will shape our industries going forward. Thank you.